Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at all the IT degrees from WGU, and we're going to figure out which ones have the best certs in them. Not necessarily the best degree, but which degrees have the best certs in them. In this video, I'll list out all of the degrees and order them from best certs to worst certs. I'll kind of explain my reasoning and talk about how I quantified which ones are best to worst. I'll talk a little bit about how different certs will give you value in different areas. And at the end of this video, you'll have a pretty good idea of of which degrees from WGU actually offer the best certificates. And when I was making this video, I'll say I came to like a really kind of interesting realization. So stick around for that. I'll kind of explain that at the end. So yeah, go ahead and smash the like button and let's get started. So as always, I kind of made a spreadsheet to visualize and explain things that I'm going to be talking about. So I'll just kind of explain this spreadsheet a little bit. It might make sense to you right away, but uh, I'll explain anyway. So basically these are the, the degrees from Western Governors University, like the IT degrees, NetOps, security, cybersecurity, and information assurance, and so forth. And then we have these columns here like Indeed, LinkedIn, Total, and then Difficulty. I'll, I'll talk about Difficulty last, but Indeed, basically, I'll use the cybersecurity information assurance for the first example, since it's like right here. Basically, this Indeed column for cybersecurity and information assurance, if you if I double click this, it might be hard to see, but basically, all, all this Indeed column is, it sums up the count of the jobs that I found on Indeed for all the search that are in this degree program. So for example, cybersecurity information assurance has A plus network plus security plus project plus pen test plus CISA or CISA, SSCP, CCSP, and then these stackable CompTIA certs. I just searched indeed for all of these certs. And this is this is how many jobs that it came up for each one of the certs. I just kind of summed those up and put it here. And likewise, for the same certs for the same degree, this is on LinkedIn. So if, if you double click this it kind of highlights this column, same thing for LinkedIn, how many times A plus came out on LinkedIn, network plus security plus, etc. And then and it kind of gives a, a score here based on how many jobs appeared with those certs. And then this total column here is just a summation between the two job sites as you can see here. And then it kind of gives a final score of, in this case, uh, 40,000. So cybersecurity information assurance has a score of 40,000. And it looks like it's the, the second best in terms of how good the certs are, or it has like the second best certs out of all the programs in WGU. And I'll, I'll kind of explain other aspects of the spreadsheet. So for example, I included like if you scroll to the right, I'll include the spreadsheet in the description, by the way. But if you scroll to the right, it kind of goes over like all the IT degrees in WGU and all the ones that are yellow. These are like the stackable certs from CompTIA. So for example, this secure cloud practitioner, if you go to a stackable certs, you can see secure cloud practitioner, you get this cert automatically if you have security plus and cloud plus. And these appear on job sites too sometimes. So I just kind of did a search and included them too, if, if that makes sense. And I will say for this whole like list, I didn't include ITIL for any of these certs because some of the degrees don't have ITIL and ITIL has like so many, so many job hits that it, I think felt it kind of would skew it would skew the results a little bit and in my opinion like ITIL is like not that good so I didn't want to include it and kind of like poison our our score with some like cert that I, I don't feel is that good so I just didn't include it uh, in case you're wondering why you're not seeing it here so basically you know to answer the video the title of the video all you have to do is sort this this total column from greatest to least and you'll see like right off the bat in terms of which degree has the best certs in it this is kind of what I thought and probably what a lot of you may have guessed as well, the NetUp, NetUp Security has the best certs out of all the degrees at WGU. And I would I would tend to agree with that based on the fact that it has CCNA, honestly, this is the NetUp Security. These are the certs in it. And then you can see like CCNA and on Indeed has 15,800 jobs. And then LinkedIn has like 13, about 13 and a half thousand jobs, which makes sense to me. Um, in my opinion, like CCNA is, it's probably the best cert, like the best entry level cert you can get period, whether it's for like IT or, or cybersecurity. And I'm not telling you to like go out and get CCNA because it's like pretty hard and like there's a whole opportunity cost. But in my opinion, like I, I want to explain like why it's the best. Maybe you'll get something out of this. But when you get certs, in my opinion, it will help you in like either one of two areas or both areas. Like the first area is it provides you like a bypass for HR or an HR filter. That is like HR sees you have the cert and they're like, wow, this guy's really good. And then you end up getting an interview. And then the second part certs help you is they actually will give you actionable, like usable knowledge that makes you better 
at your job or helps you or gives you knowledge that like lets you be able to pass the interview. So either serves as an HR filter or gives you actual actual usable knowledge. And there's some certs that excel in like one of these areas, some certs that suck in like both of these areas. And then there's some certs that like kind of excel in both areas, like provide like a super HR filter and give you like super skills at the same time. And CCNA is probably the, the one cert that like totally like maxes out both of those areas because like it's so like ubiquitous and like well known, like everyone pretty much knows CCNA and it's on like a lot of job descriptions. And at the same time, it like really gives you actionable, like usable skills where you can go and actually do something with like in the field or your lab or whatever. And, it, and CCNA and networking kind of serves as the backbone for all like things computing in this day and age. And it just, it's just like really, really useful. And like for me too, like I have like so many certs and out of all of those certs, I'll say like CCNA was like the most useful one, even more than like CISSP, honestly. And the example of a cert that's like really, really good for HR, but not that good for practical things, speaking of CISSP is CISSP. It's like really good for HR, but at the same time, like after I got it, I was like, okay, like now what can I do? Like literally nothing. So CSSP, really common, HR knows it, and it will help you get interviews, but it's like just not that good for practicality. And then an example of a cert that's like really, really practical, but like no one like knows what it is yet, it might be like uh, the Cyber Mentors PMPT cert. That's like the practical network penetration testing cert. Uh, I don't have this cert, but I looked at it. It looks like really, really good, honestly. And it's like de designed by Keith, like the Cyber Mentor. And I really respect him. He has like great products and he's like a really, you know, well-respected guy, but his cert is like new. It's still new. So it hasn't like spread across like all the job sites yet, but that's an example of a cert that's like really, really good, but it's like, doesn't have the best like HR filtering capability. So again, this is why CCNA, in my opinion, it's like really, really high. And that's why, that's why you can kind of see like the network ops and security degree having the best certs out of all of the certs at WGU. And then getting into the thing that's like really interesting for me and that I noticed uh, after doing this, if we sort this by difficulty, saying like most difficult at the top. And by the way, this difficulty rating, I, I kind of derived this from another video that I made. And I, I really like talked about why I gave each cert the difficulty that I did. So, you know, go ahead and check out that video if you want to, or just take this at face value if you want as well. Um, something really interesting that I noticed here, like if we we remove the two development degrees and just look at like the kind of IT degrees, it's really interesting because the most difficult degrees had the most marketable or the best certs in them, which is really insane. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's not something that I really considered before making this. The most difficult IT degree has the has the, the best certs in terms of marketability, and it kind of just goes down in, in perfect order from here. It's like really interesting. Like cybersecurity information, information assurance, second most difficult, and then, you know, the second most most marketable in terms of the search that it has. It's really interesting and, and really quite cool, to be honest. And I would say like maybe health information management and IT management, maybe these are slightly tied. I just said uh, health info management was like slightly more difficult because like it's kind of ropes in another area of expertise. So I figured it might be slightly more difficult than the normal IT management degree. So this is really something interesting and something to, to look at. And the IT general degree is kind of like middle ground, has some nice certs in it, but also it's like not the most easy one, which kind of makes sense. It makes sense, right? And one last thing I, I kind of want to talk about is like the, the computer science and software development degrees. Again, I said um, this whole list is focusing on the degrees with like the best certs, not necessarily the best degree. It's kind of hard to quantify like how good these degrees are. It's kind of in a separate area. So like, I don't want you to think like, you know, computer science is, is not a good degree because it's like way down here in terms of certs. Like the certs are not, not what makes this degree really usable and marketable. It's the fact that you like went through a computer science curriculum I mean, you can code like really decently. It's just kind of hard to quantify that in a way with like Indeed and LinkedIn to kind of show its value. But both the development degrees, they're super good because uh, you'll come out of these with like a really good ability to like code and stuff. And all you got to do is like supplement them with a few certs if you want to stick in IT and then you'll be like, you know, golden essentially. So again, I'll, I'll make this available in the description. It's really, really useful. And this is like a really, really cool spreadsheet in my opinion. I didn't think it would be like this neat when I was making it, but it turned out to be 
be like really interesting for me, um, especially this part. But yeah, I hope this video was useful to you or at least a little bit interesting and maybe you can use it to like make some decisions if you're still trying to decide like which degree to get into. But yeah, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Really appreciate it. Definitely helps my channel a lot. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I try to upload daily. I might do, I might drop down to like three days a week, but we'll see, I guess. I also have a Patreon if you feel like supporting me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it and I appreciate you and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.